Logistics, so I'll be handing off the responsibility to everybody. All right, here's kind of a little outline of what needs to happen before we set up on Wednesday. Here's an outline of what needs to happen before we set up on Wednesday. I'm just going to read the stuff that I wrote. read. Have everyone have their tents and their gear, the ones that they need before you go, obviously. Have your shit together before you go. Are you canceling mic check? Yeah, cancel mic check. Can you hear me? Speak loud. Can you hear me? I'll speak. Clearly and not as quick. All right. If we're going to have a med medical comfort and media and kitchen, then we have to have designated people to set up and take down and manage those areas. All right. If we're going to, I'm talking about a mobile occup occupation. Okay. Um, also, with all those establishments, we need somebody who's going to take inventory of all significant items, keep track of what is in what and what goes where. And uh, also, before we set up on Wednesday, we need to create a team who all the major tent operators, media, kitchen, library, can get together with and find ways to outfit them with whatever, they, whatever hardware they need to make those things mobile, put them on wheels, We're gonna, you know, for the nomadic style. Also, have everything after we set up, have everything ordered and consolidated at all times. It needs to be a major focus. Have everything pretty much in bins all the time. Uh, also, we're going to kind of, you're going to get together with Ryan probably, and, and I'm assuming Joe because he's done a lot of camping, and have uh, tent drills, and Nicole, and have tent drills on how to set it up quickly, and of course, take it down quickly. <coughs> Alright, and uh, also like, 
last time there was a lot of cases when people were kind of sprawled out in their tents. They just had like seven quilts and eight pillows. That can't happen anymore. Um, you're going to have to have, I would suggest having mummy bags or sleeping bags. Don't have quilts. And if you do have quilts, roll them up. Hold on. You stop. It just makes me get more jittery. Right. Roll them up and have a way to tie them. So if you do have to run, everything's together. Have everything that you need. Just have what you need, basically. Don't have any luxurious, extraneous stuff. You know, because if you get raided, have everything you can hold in between two arms and on your back. So that you can move from point A to point B efficiently. All right. Okay. That's about it. We need a team to get together that can put everything on wheels. We need to know exactly what we have at all times. Everything needs to be, it needs to be tight and clean so we can come up clean and uh, leave clean and leave nothing but a positive memory. Thank you, Greg. Will this advice be online? Oh, they're going to get together also. That's the man for you right there. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Mic check. Mic check. check. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. I'm going to kind of be the point guy. I'm going to kind of be the point guy. For the logistics team tonight. For the logistics team tonight. After the GA. After the GA. Hopefully at 6 o'clock if GA finishes by then. Hopefully at 6 o'clock if GA finishes by then. We're going to be meeting at my apartment. We're going to be meeting at my apartment. Anybody who has ideas. Anybody who has ideas. About the specifics behind. About the specifics behind. Making our movements. Making our movements. Better suited to evade police. Better suited to evade police. Please come talk to me. Please come talk to me. At that tree. At that tree. Immediately following GA. Immediately following GA. Where I will lead you. Where I will lead you. To my apartment one block away. To my apartment one block away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Mic check. Mic check. I'm Jeremy from Media. I'm Jeremy from Media. Uh, if you have an event. If you have an event that you want to publicize, that you want to publicize, it's not enough to just tell me. It's not enough to just tell me because I have a bad memory. Because I have a bad memory. We have a contact form. We have a contact form on the calendar page. On the calendar page. And that's a great way. That's, that's a great way to tell us all about your event. To tell us all about your event. So we can get the word out. So we can get the word out. Um, also, we'll be collecting money. Also, we'll be collecting money for T-shirts. For T-shirts and uh, posters and posters. posters with the uh, uh, Kanawa Plaza Occupy RVA logo. With the Kanawa Plaza Occupy RVA logo. So if you're interested in that, give us money. So if you're interested in that, give us money. Mic check. Mic check. I'm Danielle from Legal. I'm Danielle from Legal. Two quick announcements. Two quick announcements. If any of you have not, if any of you have not, filled out your jail support form, filled out your jail support form, please come see me. Please come see me. At your earliest convenience. At your earliest convenience. But before the end of GA today. But before the end of GA today. Also, also, if anyone is interested, if anyone is interested in training to be a National Lawyers Guild, training to be a National Lawyers Guild, legal observer, legal observer, we will be holding a training seminar. We will be holding a training seminar before Wednesday. Before Wednesday, it's up to it's up to those interested, those interested to give me that time frame. To give me that time frame. So come see me if you're interested. Come see me if you're interested. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Danielle. Hi, I'm Christina. Hi, I'm Christina. From Safer Spaces. From Safer, Safer Spaces. Spaces. And one of our goals. And one of our goals is to see that the group is to see that the group is cohesive. Is cohesive. It's getting along. It's getting along. And feels supported. And feels supported. So I would like to propose. So I would like, like to propose social events. Social events. Where we talk about non-occupied things. Where we talk about non-occupied things. And we learn about each other. And we learn about each other. And learn about all the gifts that we have. And learn about all the gifts that we have. So on Monday tomorrow. So on Monday tomorrow. tomorrow I would um, just like to invite. I would just like to invite anyone uh, to come join me at Ipanema. Anyone to come join me at Ipanema. I'm sorry, it's a bar and it costs money. I'm sorry, it's a bar and it costs money. But in the future, but in the future, when we have the opportunity, when we have the opportunity, I would like to put together potlucks. I would like to put together potlucks.
Hello, brothers and sisters. Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Jim. My name is Jim. And I'm just here to announce. I'm just here to announce that there will be a direct action and outreach meeting. There will be a direct action and outreach meeting tonight at 8 p.m. Tonight at 8 p.m. at Helen's. At Helen's. The address is. The address is 2527. 2527. West Main Street. West Main Street. Get with me. Get with, with me. If you have any questions. If you have any questions. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hi everybody. My name's Nate. My name's Nate. I'm Nate. with media. I'm with media. I would like to announce. I would like to announce that we're doing a press kit. That we're doing a press kit. It will hopefully be done. It will hopefully be done by about Tuesday. By about Tuesday. Also. Also. This is a big jar. This is a big jar. You should put money in it. You should put money in it for flyers. For flyers. Posters. Posters. And other media-related things. And other media-related things. Although right now. Although right now. Mostly flyers. Mostly flyers. Thank you. Thank you. Can I just say something real quick? Yes. I forgot to say the time. I forgot, I forgot to say the time. time. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. All right. Hey, uh, I'm Chris with the Political Action Committee. I'm Chris with the Political Action Committee. We've like a bunch of Freedom of Information Act requests that have been showing that the city was not only allowing the occupiers to be down there. Him? The, si can. the city was not. Uh, we filed for Freedom of Information Act requests. We filed for Freedom of Information, information Act requests. Yeah, I don't need the people's mic. I'll, I'll, I'll speak up, but I yes, appreciate it because there's a lot of inf there's, there's a lot of information. Um, I got an email here from Alan Rother, who's the special events coordinator with the city of Richmond, and they were not only allowing us to be down there, but they were paying for us to be down there because they paid for all the porta potties. Uh, uh, down there and all the garbage cans and as most people know the occupation wouldn't have lasted two days without the uh, uh, without the porta potties being down there and emptied. Also Teddy Parham was negotiating with people inside the government to get the porta potties picked up uh, more than twice a week which is what they had scheduled between October the 14th and 30 days later which would have been well it says here, I'll read the email. A Mr. Dorsey, a special events coordinator for the Point city of process. Richmond. Is this an announcement? It's an announcement about what the political action committee has been doing. Okay. A special events coordinator for the city of Richmond. I arranged for the portalettes to be placed at Canal Plaza. I made arrangements for a 30-day contract to begin on October 14th. Placing an order by phone is standard, standard practice. I am waiting on the invoice to be mailed when it is received and processed. I will be more than happy to produce documentation of the invoice. And this is Alan Rother, uh, Special Events Coordinator from the Office of the CAO of the City of Richmond. So that's basically proof that they not only allowed us to be down there, but they paid for us to be down there and that there are receipts to show that there will also be Freedom of Information Act requests there were filed with the police department and the mayor's office. This was a separate uh, order made with the Department of Parks and Recreations because that's the institution within the government that is that was paying specifically for the porta potties for the portalettes. So that's the receipt on the money trail about who was paying for it and actually who showed up and demolished the site, which is entrapment in my mind. But uh, but that's for other people to. Thanks. This is important, Yara. So, thank you. I appreciate your, your thoughts. Um, okay. Point of clarification. Um, Chris, are you saying that uh, Mike Check? Mike Check! Are you saying? Are you saying? Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Pay for the porta potties. Pay for the porta potties. Yes. And that's yeah. the big deal. And that's the big deal. That is the big deal. It's showing that the city government was paying for us to be down there, that they weren't only like saying, oh, we don't know if we want you down there or not, because they were paying for all our electricity, our trash pickup, and our porta potties. Everything else, as, as David Hicks, who was legal advisor to the mayor, was saying, everything else is hearsay but documentation and, and receipts. So now that's what we have. So that's showing intent. That's an actionable intent not just words.
Thank you, Mr. Dorsey. Thank you. Thank you. Go for it. Okay. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. My name is Ken. My name is Ken. This coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. I will be running in the Richmond Half Marathon. I will be running in the Richmond Half Marathon. With, with GA's approval. With GA's approval. I would like to wear. I would like to wear. And occupy Richmond yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ken. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll make the education announcement real quick. Uh, Mike Chad. Mike Chad. Education and outreach. Education and outreach. And I'm assuming now direct action. And I'm assuming now direct action. We'll join together at, Hel at Helen's at eight. So education, get involved. Um, do what? All right. So we want to move on to preparation. What's up? Yesterday. Yesterday, I made a call to Blue Ridge Yurts. I made a call to Blue Ridge Yurts. I'm working to get. I'm working to get a discount. A discount on yurts. On yurts. So that would be one way to purchase. I actually have them. I don't know what's gonna happen yet. I don't know what's gonna happen yet. But let's all put out some good energy for it. But let's all put out some good energy. For so we can stay warm all winter. So we can stay warm all winter. Also. Also. Start putting the word out. Start putting the word out. To anybody who might know how to build these things. To anybody who might know how to build these things. And there'll be a meeting tonight. And there'll be a meeting tonight. After GA. <laughs> after GA. About winterization. About winterization. So you got myself. So you got myself. Tom. Tom. And Ryan too, right? Ryan too, right? Uh, myself or Tom after GA if you're interested. Myself or Tom after GA if you're interested. Yeah. Uh, the only thing we have left on the agenda is preparation for the next few days. Is preparation for the next few days and some community concerns. And some community concerns. I guess what? What's up? Okay. Maybe if we have time. I just don't know what. I don't know how much time we have before the sun goes down. Mike Chat. Mike Chat. Right, All right. Since we have so much work to do. Since we have so much work to do. I would like the logistics group. I would like the logistics group. Where's Greg? There. Uh, Greg, if you could get your group. Greg, if you could get your group. Meet over there. Yeah, logistics. And then what we're going to do here is huddle in. And what we're going to do here is huddle in with small groups amongst yourselves. With small groups amongst yourselves to discuss to discuss what you think is important. What you think is important for us to prepare for us to prepare for Wednesday. For Wednesday. Everybody understand what's happening Wednesday? Everybody understand what's happening Wednesday. If you don't, show me. Okay. The logistics over there. And we'll do this maybe 10, 15 minutes. And we'll do this maybe 10, 15 minutes. All right.